see the major classification are in terms of digital analog and hybrid so what is what is exactly digital computer these uh, computers they are capable of processing information in its discrete form means all the letters symbols the numbers the these are understood in the form of zeros and ones only these binary digits are easily expressed as presence say 1 absence say 0 that means for uh, for example i am taking 0 volt can be taken as a uh, Zero or plus five volt can be taken as one because computer is an electronic device and it works on voltages. So it computes by counting and adding operation. And this digital computer they are used in industrial, business, scientific applications. If you have large volume data processing, they are very suitable. Then analog computer. What about when the when the uh, phenomena is continuously changing, like the pressure, the mechanical motion, and the electrical quantities? then in the when you have to deal with the continuous signal then say current or voltage these computer they are known as analog computers they are used to process data generated by ongoing physical processes for example just take a very uh, small example that is thermometer so it measures the changes in the mercury level so although this accuracy of uh, uh, this analog computer is less than digital but when we are dealing with physical quantities which are continuously changing we need to have a analog computer and most of the uh, present day analog computers are uh, very much suited for simulating system so this simulator or simulation helps to conduct the experiments which are uh, repeatedly uh, holding up or carrying on in the real time environment and we can have an example like simulation in aircrafts the nuclear power plants the hydraulics or say electronic networks then we have hybrid computer so why not to use the speed of the analog computer and the accuracy of digital computer so if we combine that means it may accept the digital or analog signal but uh, there has to be some conversion like a to d converter analog to digital digital to analog like this converter has to be used so the hybrid is a plus d analog plus digital this is the hybrid computer so this uh, analog computer they uh, provide efficient processing for say differential equation while the digital part deal with logical operation of the system so benefits of these both analog and digital computing can be applied and used and hybrid computers are used uh, as a cost effective mean for very complex simulations then the classification of digital computers we are talking about digital computers here according to their computing capabilities we can classify the digital computers first is your micro computers these are also known as pcs personal computer these type of digital computer they use microprocessor that is cpu on a single chip and uh, you can talk about desktop laptop these are all micro computers so these type of pcs microcomputers these they work very well with small volume of data they are very versatile and they can work and they can um, run various applications variety of applications and these computers are being used as a workstation cad computer aided design multimedia and advertising application also the pdas that is the personal digital assistant or the tablet uh, which have wireless computing uh, technology they are also very popular nowadays then we have mini computers so these computers they support multiple users multiple users means multiple users simultaneously on a single single machine same machine and uh, if the uh, if you have a small business organization then you can go for mini computers if you have uh, small organization various departments are interconnected then mini computer is good then main frames these computers are very large powerful computers and they have very high memory capacity they can process huge databases like the census at very fast rate extremely fast rate if you are talking about big organization bank uh, industries uh, they are supporting hundreds of users if you talk about facebook and twitter and you know all these instagrams so they ought to have mainframes 
then you have finally supercomputers. These are fastest and very expensive computers. They can execute billions of instructions. They, their execution speed is computed in, in the Chinese, which is the um, supercomputer fastest. This is around 57 to 65 petabytes. So these are multiprocessor, parallel, parallel system suitable. So all the, uh, they are various, say you can say thousands of multiprocessor they are working together. So they are specialized or they are suitable for specialized complex scientific application which is involving huge or high amount of mathematical application for example weather forecasting and the main difference between the supercomputer and the mainframe is that supercomputer execute fewer less programs as fast as possible while the mainframe executes many programs concurrently.